We're in a research centre called the Rutherford Apperton Laboratories. This research centre is actually only one of a handful in the world that produces neutrons to look inside things, almost like a microscope really, but looking at very, very, very small structures. The disease we are looking at is TB. So we do have a vaccine for that. In the UK and Europe, it works very well. But the BCG vaccine that we have available is less effective in some areas globally, such as sub-Saharan Africa. The second problem we have is with children born HIV positive, they cannot be exposed to BCG as it increased risk of them actually having an infection. So we need a new vaccine that doesn't pose a risk to those children. Most people are familiar with taking a, a tablet that contains a drug, but sometimes to deliver drugs to other parts of the body, we've got to what we call formulate, in other words, wrap them up in other ways, and we call this drug delivery. We're looking to design a drug delivery system that can enhance both the delivery and the targeting of a vaccine, therefore improving the potency. My colleague Yvonne has been looking at preparing some new vaccines to help treat TB. And we're very interested in relating the properties of those vaccines to the behaviour in the body. When we vaccinate somebody, the key thing is the vaccine has to actually get to the immune cells. And using Jane's work, we can understand now how we can make sure the system will get to those immune cells without being destroyed, therefore giving us a stronger vaccine response. The neutrons come in and they're focused on the sample and the sample scatters the neutrons and the pattern of the scattering of the neutrons is picked up by the detector. We then look at the pattern on the detector and that is what allows us to actually look inside the, the structure of the vaccines. Jane's gave us some lovely data where we can now see the structure of the system and we can see it looks like an artificial cell and we can see how the system packages together, where the protein can go in the system. It's very exciting, it's telling us that the molecules that are packed inside the vaccine are arranged very much like the molecules on the outside of the membrane. We're focused on having a vaccine in the market that people can use as an alternative to BCG.